Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today was Monday the 21st, and today was a gorgeous day outside. Temperatures were in the 30s, I think was our high, and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, got up this morning, uh, it got a handful of stuff done, kind of life as it goes on. Um, decided to um, take care of a handful of stuff I just kind of put off with the whole fire and got that taken care of just kind of catching myself up uh, my foot is still hurting like hell I don't know it was doing good I thought there for a while then I had that I don't know it was like a build up there's a spot that's not fully healed there's like a hole there and it had been draining um, pretty well and I thought it was healed up so it closed up and then it like I don't know got really really bad like swollen I guess we want to call it and I ruptured it um, to drain it and it's been I've been draining it peroxiding it and all that stuff here trying to keep it from closing up again until it gets all the infection out of there and it's hurting like a son bitch it's doing better than it was before I popped it like it was just oh it was bad so definitely um not feeling great on it but I did get my run in today I think I only knocked out I don't even remember how far I went to be a Dallas I don't know I think it was five miles like that I don't know I don't know I didn't really pay attention to be honest with you. I just went for a run and it was not um I didn't have a set plan when I took off running so I'm running down uh, just some roads and stuff around town here and that got back home um Bruce was all mad at me because I didn't lay my leash at all because lately I've been letting my leash on almost all my runs when I hit the trails because there's hardly anybody around on the trails anymore so I didn't go to the trails though so without going to the trails I got back here and he started trying to pick a fight with me he was growling at me and trying to chew on my arm and he was really pushing me around and stuff so it was kind of funny but the one thing I did notice he'd um, cut his eye like above his eye on his eyebrow whatever hit part of his head because on the run today he, we were running long I was on the sidewalk he was running next to me in the grass and he looked back to stare at squirrel or something, I don't know, a cat or some crap, and didn't look up in time and ran, I mean, head first into the handrail of a fence, or not a fence, but of a um, steps, the railing up steps, and it hit him pretty hard. It kind of scared the hell of me. I didn't realize he was going to hit that either. It kind of freaked me out. I didn't realize he was looking back at the time. So definitely um, not good. It stunned him pretty good. Like, he couldn't figure out how to get out from inside the railing. I had to stop and kind of lead him back out of there and stuff. So, and he ended up, his eyes bleeding a little bit, but it's, it's I got some stop, um, quick stop on it. So it's healing up fine. Just, I didn't realize it was bleeding until I got home. We were wrestling and playing together and stuff and he was chewing on me and had blood all over me so i realized what it was so i got that taken care of but that was definitely the um, scary part of the run uh, other than that the run went just fine no big deal at all a little cold i'm not really um lungs haven't got used to cold yet which 30s is not cold really considering the fact that i've been out running negative 13 before you know windshields negative 40 kind of crap so definitely um i'll be able to work that out it's not that big a deal it's just kind of annoyance at the time so still just i don't know really kind of without a shop i'm kind of getting antsy and stuff and christmas coming right around the corner and i don't have any of my gifts because they all burn up and all the supplies to make more gifts are burn up so I'm just, I don't know, I'm getting that weird, um, not being able to give gifts is really bugging the shit out of me. So I might try and figure out something tomorrow that I can just knock together real quick or whatever. I might just go out and just buy a bunch of gifts for people, which definitely, um, I don't know, I'm not that guy who's into buying gifts for people because my thought is the fact if I take time to make you something personally, then it shows my heart and my love in it. If it's something I just go buy, fuck, we, we all got money. We can all just go buy our own crap. So that's not really who I am, but... Who knows? We'll see. Um, i got a couple ideas, things I might be able to do with, but a little bit of um, DIY type material I have left laying around here. So we'll see and go from there. I need to work on the van tomorrow. I think also some, um, I've got it pulled up in the drive between the two houses and I'm going to basically um, heat it with an uh, electric heater and then try and do some more supplies inside. I got to get it hot enough to get the um, epoxies and that stuff to dry that I got to put in there. So We'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully I'll get that knocked out tomorrow and go from there. So other than that, um, pretty much same old, same old. So that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.